So anyone that's new to scooters, uh, we like to draw a lot of parallels between bicycling and scootering. Um, some of the similarities as far as your braking. On the right here, we've got our front brake. On the left, our rear brake. Opposite of a bicycle layout, but similar in operation, you're gonna be generally using both brakes every time you stop. Then on these bikes, starting them up, we've got a couple things we'll run through first. One, we've got a key on the bottom, so ignition just like a car. We turn the key to the on switch, but we're not gonna be pushing it any further than that. Once the key is on, then we can go about starting it. We're gonna to wanna to make sure our kill switch is set to the run position on this bike, it's to the right. If it was to the left, the bike would not run. It would also stop if it was running. So I have the key on, kill switch to the right. My next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of the brakes firmly and then press this electric start button. On the left side of the bike here, we're gonna have all of your controls. They keep it very simple on these scooters. We've just got three of them. On the bottom, we have our horn. In the middle, we have our turn signals. And the turn signals on almost all scooters, they're not self-canceling. So once I push it to the right to indicate a right turn, I'm gonna want to push that button in. Some scooters just have a three-way switch, so you'd return it to the middle position. Most bikes are equipped with high beam and low beam headlights. The headlights on these scooters are always on, but you do have a high beam for riding at night and your low beam will be on all the time. Another thing on most scooters, they'll keep the display pretty simple. On this one, it's gonna show your miles per hour as well as your odometer. Then on the left here, we have a fuel gauge that'll show when you're at full or empty. Some scooters will also be equipped with a tachometer that'll show you the RPMs of the scoot. For accelerating on a scooter, since they are fully automatic, all we're doing, we're gonna be pulling the throttle down to give it gas and we're turning it back up when we're decelerating. So all we're doing is we're spinning the throttle and the scooter, there'll be no shifting. It will just accelerate and go. All right, now that I'm on my scooter, I'm gonna start it up, turn the key to the on position, make sure my kill switch is set to run. From there, I'm gonna grab one of the brakes, hold it down and press the start button. Now the bike is on and I am on the center stand. So if I hold the rear brake, push forward. From here, I just need to give it a little bit of throttle and eventually you'll start to go. 